Hey everybody, Mr. Mario Bros. 7 here, back with more Super Mario Sunshine. Alright, let's get started. <clears throat> well, that was weird, I don't know what happened there. Her capture card glitched out. Alrighty, where were we? I believe we were over here. It's been a while since I've been playing. Alrighty. This damn board. Now this board isn't all that hard, but there's just certain things about it that just get on my nerves. Mario! Oh, what the heck? That was an epic fail. Let's try that again. Okay. Let's see if we can get it this time. Nice. Alrighty, so the thing about this sand bird is that... Where's he at? Whoa, 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 I don't want to die already. No, 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 really? And I died already. Alrighty, so let's try this again. <laughs> Great. I never had this much problems with this damn sand bird. Okay, now that we're actually on the bird, let's see if we can get this. These like a dude is about one try. Now the blue coins for this board, I'll be coming back to get. I think I said something about getting the blue coins done, like later. A lot of people have trouble with the tail. I don't really have trouble with the tail. But with this tail. No, this is all I want to wait for. Wait for him to turn, come on. And then what I usually do whenever he turns, I usually come up here on his neck. You usually get a good bit of time before he turns. So, it's not too hard. It's just that it's annoying because sometimes the way that he moves can throw you off when you go and jump. You know what I mean? So, that's all. Now, if you don't get on this fast enough, he will turn the other way too. But, like, you only got, like, pretty much... I think either two shots at it to get on this platform. Not really sure. But uh, just wait for it to appear. Come on. There we go. And that is game. It's funny because as soon as I came in here, I died twice by just jumping off that first cloud. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Alright, let's save and continue.
Alrighty. Let's see what the next one is. Alrighty. This guy again. Now he's probably, this board's probably the easiest to beat him on. Now watch I fell because I said that. But yeah, he's probably one of the, this is probably one of the easiest boards to beat this guy on. Pretty much all you do is just go up here. And then that's game. Get there. Okay, I know I've done that a lot faster before, but I kind of messed up in the beginning. But either way, who cares? We won. Alrighty, there we go. Get the shine. Let's get on to the next mission. Red coins on a coral reef. This board can get on my nerves. Just cause like the red coins will go in and out of the reef. And sometimes it just pisses me off. Let's go find this damn reef. Stupid cataquats. These two get on my nerves. Now the only board that I'm scared to deal in this game is the watermelon board. Because that board gets all my nerves. Just because it's like, I swear, it's like the Cataquacks just try to do that on purpose. Got one, come on, let's see if we can't get this before it goes in the reef. Damn it. Alrighty, let's see if we can get it on this side. Oh, there's another one. Okay, let's see if we can't find the other one. I kept cutting in and out of reefs. Oh, well, oh. there it is. Wait, where'd it go? Dang it. I hate when it cuts in and out of the reef. Screw it. Let's just get the ones that we can find for now. I'll worry about that one later. Oh, actually there it is. Alrighty, come on, come on, come on, get the ring, get, get the coin, 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 get the coin. Whew, that was close. It almost went into the rock. Alrighty, where's this where's these other ones at? Um I believe that there's some like right on the edge that I didn't get yet. Let's go down here and see. Camera angle for this reef really sucks. Alrighty. Let's get this one. And I know we're missing one more, and I don't think it's, I don't think it's floating around the reef. At least I don't think so. Let's just give a good swim around the reef, just to see, check stuff out, see if we missed anyone. 
Which we did miss one, but let's just see if we can find it quick. Uh, there are red fishes. Sometimes I get confused with the red fishes on this board. So. Uh, where is it at? I love the camera angle in this game now. I gotta say that. I know in a lot of Mario games you don't get a free camera like this. Is that it down there? Where the heck is this thing? Is it over here? No. What the crap? Alrighty. If this end up taking too long, I'll probably just cut it out. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Don't need to cut anything out. And there we go. Got all eight coins. I mean, like, it didn't take too long. It's just trying to find the right coins that gets on my nerves. But, oh well. It's done and over with now. Alrighty. And I believe we have probably one or two more boards we could get out during this episode. Okay. Shadow Mario. Now I know like the 8th board of every world is not required to beat, but you are supposed to, you are required to beat every 7th world, so. And he gets on my nerves in this one actually. He actually gets on my damn nerves in this one. The one time I lost him, like when I first started playing the game, probably, probably, yeah, I think it was actually my first run of this game. I lost him and stuff. For like a half an hour. I was so mad. Now what I like to do with him, I like to try to keep him away from the cliffs. Cause like he usually tries to run in a direction, like away from you. So I'd like to try to keep him away from the cliff. But she's going up there right now, or he's going to try to. Crap. I hate when he goes up there. Then I usually just watch him. Cause sometimes he'll come down over here. Crap, where's he at? Where'd he go? I can't hear him jumping around. That's why I usually don't chase him up there. Because he usually comes right back down. Well, let's go see if we can find him. Screw it. I know he comes up here a lot. Let's look up there. He's probably back down on the damn beach. Probably exactly where he's at. I can hear him. Oh, there he is. See? He's not too hard. But I mean, on this board, he just gets on my nerves. Now, usually I end my videos off at, um, at 15 minutes, but... I think that today I'm going to go to 20 minutes, just because I haven't been doing a lot of videos. So. Uh, let's see if we could just get this board finished off quick. Alrighty, let's get back in there. Ah, and this is going to probably end off this video because <laughs> I hate this board. This is probably my least 
favorite board. I hate it and I have so much problems on it. I was actually thinking about trying to wait until, until like towards the end to do this board. But I'd kind of like to get it off like how I'm doing it, like go in a row between each mission. It's just at this board. And it's like all the catacrocs go the whole way up towards that side too. Now the thing about this board is there's going to be a guy over there, over on that side, by a bridge. And he wants you to bring him the biggest watermelon on the island. And of course, the, damn it, damn it, damn it, get the hell away from me. Freaking cataclysm. But the thing about this board is, they want you to bring them the biggest watermelon. And of course, the biggest watermelon is this one. Now, I know you can, if you're pretty tricky with the watermelon, you can get it up here and ride it the whole way over and have an easy way to do it. But I've never got it that way. I've only. Usually, I don't even do this board whenever I go through my plays, my playthroughs. But. This is a let's play, and uh, so yeah, we're gonna have to do it like this. Let's see if I can actually get it up there. I only seen one person ever get it up there, and that was my best friend. No, 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 screw it. Damn it! Freaking cataclysm. Freaking cataclysm get on my nerves. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and break this. Just because I need some more coins. So. And instead of running around the island looking for coins, you know what I mean? You could just go ahead and break these watermelons. So that's what I'm gonna do quick. Alrighty. So many cataclysms is down there. Damn it. I know if you do it I know if you do it a certain way you can really get a hit over there. So that's what I was trying to do. No, I didn't want you to go that far back. Alrighty. Let's see if I can get these damn cataclysms away from my face. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Get the hell away from me. Alrighty. Now from this point, every time I fell, I am just going to cut it out. No, don't touch the watermelon. Just don't touch the damn watermelon.
No oh, crap, crap, get back to the watermelon. Go, 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 <sighs> And if it's not over yet, here's when things get tough. Okay, so I got it on the bridge. And I'm trying not to get it in the water. If I do, I'm going to be so mad. Because I have done this before. I've got it the whole way up to the... Actually, I got it the whole way up to the dude on that last turn. And I dropped the weight right in the water because I got real rushy. I just hate this board. I failed about like... Probably about five times. So... It wasn't too bad. And there we go. Finally got it. And honestly, it didn't give me much problems that round. Like, I only had to go back up and get the watermelon about like five or six times. So, I was actually surprised. My friend, he's really good at this board. He'll sit there and do it on like his first try. Like, he just, I don't know. He goes hard with the little water gun thing. Alright, let's save and quit. And now, there's only one more thing to do for that board. And that's collect the 100 coins. And of course, all the blue coins, but I'm saving that towards like the end. So, but until next time, we go back in here on the next episode to collect the coins so see you next time please like comment or subscribe